Was goo y'all welcome back to the lab with another quest build I have a blueprint to one of the rarest names in all of NBA 2k23 in this video If you're looking for a build that can do it all create for your teammates has no clear deficiencies And is it gonna be a perfect complimentary piece to any squad? This might be the build for you I wanted to cook something up that can play defense at multiple positions that can shoot make plays and can finish and doesn't need the ball in his hands to be efficient. It really has shades of LeBron James, Larry Bird, their legend, Magic Johnson, and Scottie Pippen. This is the super rare two-way midi point forward. Like I said, this build is an absolute chess piece, can be the primary creator for any squad or play off ball and be a perfect number two complimentary piece to an ultimate scorer. I really like the Scottie Pippen comparison in this build because it doesn't need the keys to be successful. And imagine like LeBron James on Team USA where he's not just the sole creator for an entire franchise. He can basically be the best complimentary player of all time. But don't act like this is just a number two or a number three option. This build can absolutely go. It has the plums. So we're going to jump right in, follow along to a T to get this name because it's rather specific. And again, you probably have not seen this build at the city. So we're going to make this at small forward. You're going to be six foot nine, 206 pounds with a max seven, seven wingspan. And you know, we're going body shape build because we want to look menacing on the wood. You can definitely tinker this build, but I'm going to go over some of the threshes to get this name. So follow along to a T and then tinker at your own discretion in your builder. At the end of the day, it's your build. You can do whatever you want. But we're going to get our close shot to a 76. A lot of these are going to be badge threshes. Try to maximize the potential of this build. We're going to get our driving layup to an 80. It's going to unlock some nice layup packages. Get our driving dunk to an 81. And then get our standing dunk to a 75. That's going to give us 18 finishing badges. Going to get that Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Silver Limitless Takeoff. Going to get some nice dunk packages and have 18, so we're going to be able to get some Tier 3 badges as well. This thing can definitely finish amongst the trees at 6'9 with a max wing, and you don't have to worry about eating those peanuts on the ground floor because we're going to get those plain peanuts when we're flying amongst the skies. But shooting, we are going to get our MIDI to an 81. That's going to unlock that MIDI name. You want that over a 79. But we're going to get our three ball to a 78. So although you are a two-way MIDI point forward, you have a three ball at 78. To me, uh, that's a nice thresh. I feel you know comfortable um, if you know your jump shot shooting at around a 77 or higher. Three ball is not going to make that huge of a difference. Um, one or two attribute clicks left or right. And then we're going to get our free throw to a 60. Just get that nice even number. It's going to give us 20 shooting badges. You're going to have some really nice tier one golden hall of fame badges. You're going to get those tier three catch and shoot on Silvo. And you're going to be able to shoot if you're any more decent behind the sticks um, with that 81 midi. This is a nice three level scoring build, although it's not going to be super elite in those categories. But going to playmaking, this is where the build really shines. We're going to get our pass accuracy to an 88. Going to make sure that gets higher than an 85 to get this point forward name. We're going to max out our ball handle and max out our speed with ball to an 87 and a 75 respectively. That's going to give us 24 playmaking badges. Again, running on this at the three with this kind of ball handle and pass accuracy and speed, you're going to be a perfect you know, transitional complementary piece like a rook or a queen on a chessboard. And with that 88 pass accuracy, we're going to be able to dart up anyone on the woods. So you're going to be a definite nerf gun. And with that midi, you're going to be a squirt gun. So this is kind of a squirt nerf combo. Pause. With 24 playmaking badges, if you also add your plus four plus at playmaking, this is going to be an absolute crazy creator for any squad. And also seeing that two-way midi point forward name should be contagious. Hopefully your teammates will get you involved and pass the pill and let you swing it around and you know get a little bit of a creation under your belt. Because sometimes when you see a three-level score build, everyone might assume that you're just going to jack up shots every time you get the pill. But having that point forward name hopefully will you know alert your teammates, hey, I'm trying to pass the ball, I'm trying to play the right way. And you do have the stats to back that up. But again, this is a two-way. So going to defense, we're going to get our interior D to a 76. It's going to be a badge thresh. Max out our perimeter to an 88, and then get our steelies to an 85. That's going to be key to get that two-way name at the small forward position. We want that perimeter D um, 86 or higher. We're going to go to that badge thresh of 88. 
Then we're going to get that bad choice of Astelia 85, so you're going to be able to play the passing lane. Scotty Pippen-esque in the defensive abilities on this build. You're going to get our block to a 73, so that's serviceable. You're going to be able to chase down. You can even allocate a couple more to try to get that gold chase down badge. But we're going to go to 73, get that badge thresh. Then we're going to get our defense rebound to an 81. And then our offense rebound to a 58. That's going to give us 24 defensive badges as well. This is definitely a two-way creator. Um, you're going to be able to rebound serviceably. You're going to be able to block shots. And then the perimeter D on this build is going to be kind of bananas. Like I said, Scottie Pippen, Sean Marion, LeBron James when in his prime when he used to be locked in. Um, this thing can clamp up opposing perimeter players and also be able to switch down and guard some interior players as well with that 76 interior D. 24 defensive badges is going to be really nice and if you do equip plus 4 at this as well it can be a defensive minded player first and you don't have to worry about the offensive side of the ball so much if you're playing off ball and you're not going to be one of the primary creators. We go into physicals, we're going to max out our speed, max out our acceleration, keep our strength to a 51 get our vertical to a 65 and then put the rest on stamina to an 83. So let's give this build a quick once over 18 finishing, 20 shooting, 24 playmaking and 24 defensive badges. What I really like about this build is it can finish, it can shoot, but the playmaking is going to be plantain on this build and then defensively it is a perimeter oriented monstrosity. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun to play on this build and it doesn't require the ball in your hands to be productive and efficient for your squad. Sometimes, you know, when you're not getting the pill and you're playing with randoms, you might feel like what's the point of having a 99 driving dunk or a 93 ball. But this build is predicated on playing defense on that end and then creating any types of plays for your offense. And when you get that opportunity, you know, you're going to be able to capitalize on that. Going to take over, you get Finishing, shot creating, playmaking, and perimeter defense. I like enhanced jump shot contest. Let's really, you know, emphasize that side of the floor. And then like finishing moves to just kind of pound it home when you do get hot and you do get that take. And you're going to end up with one of the rarest names in all of 2K23. I've never seen this at the city. I've had this in the chamber for a hot minute. But you're going to get that two-way midi point forward. One of my favorite names I've seen in this game, Scotty Pippen through and through, has the potential to be one of the big dog hatches that you can run on. You max this thing out to a 99. You could bring it anywhere, the city, the theater, the rec, pro-am. This thing is a perfect jack of all trades, absolute demigod from the depths of the abyss. But what do you guys think? Is this build good enough to invest that hard-earned BC in? Or what would you change with this blueprint? Let me know in the comments. You know what time it is. Quest Sparrow.